Polymerase chain reaction is a widely used molecular biology technique used to rapidly amplify specific regions of DNA. DNA polymerase is the enzyme required to replicate DNA in cells before each round of cell division. In order to replicate a target DNA molecule or template, a primer is required, a short nucleic acid fragment containing complementary base sequences to the target region. During the PCR process, the DNA generated is used as a template for replication, creating a chain reaction in which the DNA template is exponentially amplified. Most PCR applications employ a thermostable DNA polymerase, such as TAC polymerase. This enzyme assembles a new DNA strand from DNA nucleotides using a single-stranded DNA as a template, and DNA primers are required for the initiation of DNA synthesis. The majority of PCR methods use thermocycling, which is alternately heating and cooling the PCR sample through a defined series of temperature steps. Primers or oligonucleotides are short molecules of single-stranded DNA that are complementary to the sense and the antisense strands of the DNA target. Good primer design is essential for successful PCR amplifications because primers give PCR its specificity. The length of the primer should be between 18 and 35 base pairs for optimal annealing. Primers should have a melting temperature, or TM, within the range of 52 degrees Celsius to 65 degrees Celsius. The primer melting temperature can be calculated using a number of different formulas. The simplest formula is 2 times A plus T plus 4 times G plus C. The CG nucleotide composition should be between 40 and 60 percent because these nucleotides form a triple bond which requires a higher melting temperature to separate. The annealing temperature should be 5 degrees Celsius below the TM. An annealing temperature that is too high results in a low product concentration, and an annealing temperature that is too low results in nonspecific annealing in spurious products. Primers should avoid self-dimerization, secondary structures such as hairpin loops, and secondary priming sites. The presence of G or C bases within the last five nucleotides of the 3' prime primer sequence, also called a GC clamp, helps promote specific binding at the 3' prime ends. This is due to the triple bond formed between the two nucleotides. However, Ending the primer sequence with a run of G or C nucleotides should be avoided to prevent mispriming. The forward primer is designed using the sense strand sequence, while the reverse primer is designed using the anti-sense strand sequence. The steps involved in PCR are denaturation, or melting of the double-stranded DNA, annealing, or base pairing, and elongation. The PCR reaction mixture consists of a TAC DNA polymerase, which is a thermostable DNA polymerase that elongates DNA, three DNTPs, deoxynucleotide triphosphates, that are incorporated by the DNA polymerase to elongate DNA, a reaction buffer to maintain optimal pH for optimum DNA polymerase activity, magnesium, which is a DNA polymerase cofactor, salt, which provides positively charged ions to help stabilize primer template annealing, the forward and reverse primers that are used to elongate DNA, and the double-stranded DNA template containing the region of DNA to be amplified. The first step of the polymerase chain reaction involves obtaining a template for gene amplification from the double-stranded DNA sequence of interest. The DNA region of interest is added to the PCR reaction mixture along with the forward and reverse primers. The reaction mixture is then placed in a thermal cycler and heated to approximately 95 degrees Celsius to denature or separate the double-stranded DNA to single-stranded DNA. During the denaturing process, the potassium ions help stabilize the negatively charged phosphate groups on the separate DNA strands. After the template DNA strands have been separated, the temperature is lowered to approximately 60 degrees Celsius to allow the primers to anneal or base pair with the single-stranded DNA. Each primer will anneal to one of the separated DNA strands. The forward primer will anneal to the anti-sense strand, while the reverse primer will anneal to the sense strand. Once the primers have annealed, the temperature of the reaction mixture is raised to 72 degrees Celsius to enable the thermostable TAC DNA polymerase to elongate the template strands, and thus create a new DNA strand complementary to the DNA template strand. This is done by incorporating free DNTPs from the reaction mixture into the growing DNA chain in the 5' to 3' direction. In this reaction, the 5' phosphate group of the DNTPs and the 3' hydroxyl group of the extending chain are joined in a phosphodiester linkage.
The steps of the PCR amplification process are repeated for 20 to 40 cycles in order to create numerous copies of the target DNA. Through the repeated cycles, the target is amplified exponentially.